right, guys, so we just pulled up to On The Arm right now, and look who I'm with right here. Well, here we go again, you know. Uh, this is the guy that took the L on the water bottle flip. Uh, what you got now? We got some shattered backboards, not on deck, at the crib. <laughs> yeah, my size, right? Our size, it's our size. Our size. Our size. All right, what do you want to do for those? We're going to play blackjack right now. We got cards on deck. You know, we out here. Can I show the people the store first? Or you just want to find right, out. What do you want to do? Walk around the store. Yeah, come on. MTV Cribs, real quick. You know, but you know, you got another mic. You want to get Show me some. Show me some exclusive stuff. Some exclusive stuff. Okay. Well, the most exclusive thing in the store. Is Mikey himself. You know, this is the most yeah, that that one. Mikey's coldest thing in the store, Mikey, right here. You can't be anything else in the store. It's maybe. Mikey right maybe. here on deck. Maybe. This is like the hype beast, like queen. Like, you want to show you the face? Hold up. Damn. Damn. Shout out your IG. What's up? <laughs> she has Jazzy like a, J. She has, <laughs> no, she has like a million subscribers, guys. Make sure you guys DM her too. She gets like a thousand messages a day. All right, Blake, where are we? We are in the stock room of On the Arm right now. It's the craziest Supreme store. Maybe out there, because there's not a lot of like exclusively Supreme resale stores, and Mike's got like everything. Some of it he doesn't sell, some of it like he only sells to like celebrities. I know like Chris Brown shops here, Travis shops here, like lots of different celebrities shop here. Like, this is the but most hype Supreme stuff I've ever seen. Hundred percent. Like it's not even close. Like look at this here. I never been back in the stock room yet. Look at this. This is crazy. Let's Camo. Oh my. Khaki. I don't remember what this one's called. That's crazy too. But this is like this is crazy. Red on white, and then there's more. Hey, does this look familiar, Blake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got me. I got me one of those. We got to use the sled before. Louis, before Supreme Louis when they got in trouble for making it. Crazy. That's crazy sick. You know what? I think this hammer is so are, sick. I don't know why. Really or these are really rare. These are really rare, I meant. Especially this one. That one's really rare. The man's got boxes Focus. for days, socks for days. Like, I need this cheetah. <laughs> you can buy that. Okay. Like, why don't you have this? Um, this is sick. I need this, too. I'm trying. Yeah, look at that good karma sign. Guys, I believe in good karma, too. That is a pretty cool sign. Oh, yeah. Did you, did you just kind of see this? That is nuts. You know what else is nuts? This right no, here. don't show them the... Oh! Oh, my God. Yo. Phone home. Phone home. Hello? Oh my god. See that? that I got a brick of the undercovers and I thought I was out here. Oh my god. You got a, this is, I think, two bricks. Yeah, that's probably two bricks. And then got. Yeah, you guys know. Just something light. Something light. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, got the Akira's. Almost. Yeah, that's probably two bricks, too. And then. You got a. I've seen a lot of Supreme stickers, but I've never seen this many. No, this is where the collection started. All stickers. Really? Yeah, that's where, uh, do I, have, no, I think I put it on the sticker wall, but then you got the, the blood and semen's right here. That's, that looks more than two breaks, that's like three almost, Same it looks low like. Key, low key, uh, yeah, just a little mix of all of them. Louis, they, uh, Supreme bit the logo, the monogram, and, uh, Louis Vuitton actually filed a cease and desist, and, uh, here's one of the pieces you don't really see too often, you see the box logo T a lot. I bought these probably like three, four years ago for maybe 150 to 200 each, I think. So, and that was, I'd say that was pretty expensive for the time. Um, now, I'd say these beanies are probably worth like three, 400. And then you got the Supreme Louis Vuitton, well, OG Supreme Louis Vuitton rip bucket hats. This one is in a lot better condition than this one, as you can see. This one's faded a little bit. Wow. But yeah, you don't really see these. I bought these for 400 each back in the day, so these, there's no telling what these are going for now. Probably like maybe six, seven, eight hundred maybe. I haven't seen one for sale in a long time. I don't think any collector I've seen has this many, but here are the star beanies. Um, these came out with the Dunk Highs in 2003, I believe. Um, you probably might see somebody with one set, maybe one of each, but definitely not three sets. Definitely not three sets. Some boxes in there. We got a, this ain't a Paris. This one is a, a Rizzoli. Wow. They did this with the uh, the Rizzoli book. Um, I'm not sure, I don't believe these were released to the public, but I do know that they came out around the same time as the uh, wow. the Rizzoli book. And then uh, you got the book knife. There you go. How much does the ashtray go for? This ashtray? Uh, I've seen one sell 
for like 350 and I think that's actually pretty cheap. These, I know for sure a lot of people want these. And then this one, this Camacho toy though, I didn't realize after I had given it to Cardi, um, I recently saw it like last week, they're selling this toy on Instagram for like 750 bucks. I had no idea it was worth that much. Wow. And I think we got it for like 100 but still like 750 for a toy? What? That's insane. And then, you know, got the basketball. My personal favorite accessory just because I'm a basketball player. Got the ceramic dog bowl. I sold JC from Urban Necessities, mm -hmm. the red one, for his uh, dog that he just got. How much was that? Uh, $700? $700. For the dog bowl. Oh saying. my god. The dog's eating nice. It's a hype beast dog, huh? I'm saying, one kid came to the store and we had a consigned one for 200 And I told him, I was like, yo, out of all the things in the store you can buy with $200, you want to buy a brick. I had to make sure, and he was like, yeah, I want the brick. I was like, all right. The Supreme Polo Rip, the stadium jacket. Just for some reason, they got a stick or a pocket cool. on the back. Here's a, I think I've seen Nav wear the black one. And the nunchucks right there. Got the rare zebra backpack. I remember when uh, Tyga was wearing like the zebra vans back in the day. Those came out in like 2011, I think. The phase two zip ups right here. Uh, I think there was only two colorways. And uh, I've seen Lil Yachty wear this one back in the day with Ian Connor. And um, yeah, just nice all over print. Not many people know about this one. And then here's the, uh, I'm gonna start with this one. That is so dope. That's another one of my favorites in this whole room. Yeah, the NCAA uh, logo rip. They, the NCAA actually did a cease and desist on this jacket as well. This came in a black, red, and the camo. I sold the red one to Metro as well for 2500 Funny thing is, when Travis came uh, on the 30th of December, so this was like two, three weeks ago, he wanted this one, and I was like, all right, bet. So I told him, like, yo, this hoodie nobody has. And I was like, yo, the price on this, I was willing to sell it to him for 6,000, but I lowered the price to 5,000. I was like, yo, just cause you know, you're Travis Scott, I'm a big fan, I'll do 5,000. But he, even at 5,000, he was just like, I don't know. So he didn't end up getting it. He ended up buying a Slayer thermal and the shooting sleeves. But uh, yeah, that's story behind this one right here definitely something you don't see too often and then this one too it's not too old i think this came out in 2011 but the royal blue on royal blue damn if this wasn't consigned i'd keep it for myself honestly but this is probably my favorite box logo hoodie um just because nobody has this colorway and this is brand new too you never see these brand new uh, what, else what do you sell that one for I think the consigned, this one's consigned. I have one medium, but it's really used that I probably wouldn't even sell, but that large, I think at the time he wanted 3,000, but now he took the price off and he just, I don't even think he wants to sell it. But here's also something that I forgot that we had. Oh, wow, there's two in here. Oh, wow, are those are stickers? Yeah, two. Big box of stickers. They're bent, so we're probably gonna have to put them on something. But I mean, if you want to sell one, I got stuff to put on. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where, did, how did you even get the like? Not how did you get them, but how could someone have got them whenever they dropped? These didn't drop actually. So how how do you get them? Friends and family. Sand hoodie, sand crew neck. Never see that. Yeah. These came out. Everybody was hating, but now like everybody wants this one. We had like I think we had like maybe twenty of these traded a few, sold a few, and this is our last one, XO, still Wild. with tags. Chris Brown for 5,000? I'm saying 5,000 for the hoodie. He doesn't care though. Yeah, yeah that was he'll light. Spend 100. That was light, like I, when I talked to his manager, like they just pulled out the money like it was like change, you know? All right guys, so Blake and I just got back to the Hypebeast headquarters. I wanna give a big shout out to On The Arm and Mike for showing us the back storage room. Guys, that was crazy. I have never seen a Supreme collection like that. That was nuts. Super, super rare stuff, huh Blake? That was some crazy stuff. Shout out to the Chick-fil-A. All right guys, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you have not already, join the Flex Squad. Man, I just wanna go flex. Hold on my teeth and on my neck.